Good morning, people of YouTube! In today's video, we'll be looking at the awesome Canon 2000D, and I'll be giving you a full review, a little tutorial, so things you need to know, and the best way to improve your image quality when using this camera. So, if that sounds awesome to you, I'm Dave from TVR Creators, and I make weekly content on cameras and so much more, so please subscribe if that gives you value. You want to get value from this video. Ooh, live TV. Anyway, so the Canon 2000D is a great, nice little camera, especially if you want something separate from your phone, or more specifically, you just want something as like a first camera, something that takes some nice photos, and you just want to, you know, start, put your, your foot, your first foot into photography, so, so to speak. So this 24.1 megapixel camera is a really nice camera take some really nice pictures and uh, it's really cool now generally it tends to come with what we like to call the kit lens and that's usually an 18 to 55 mil lens which we have here and this takes some nice photos and the normal light and stuff like that and this will get you started when you're out and about i highly recommend this if you're you know want to take some first pictures if you're going on a nice walk maybe some nice pictures of the family and something really cool actually something i did a few years ago i actually have a Bear with me, I'm just gonna grab it out for you. Du, 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 du. I also have, as I just destroyed the studio, I also have a 300 mil, which would highly recommend with this sort of camera, because then you can get a nice sort of like tunnel shot if you've got like maybe sort of family further away and you get like a nice sort of like shot of the family on a nice walk or a day out or a nice holiday. Now this is definitely a, ca a lens I would recommend into some really nice lens and you can sort of zoom in and get some nice shots maybe if you want to take pictures of wildlife stuff like that that is really cool um if you want something very specific then obviously you can interchange as it is a slr you can interchange the lenses as you will depending on what you want it for now you can take video on this camera and it does take video i personally wouldn't recommend it as a video camera though it does have the feature and it takes okay video um you could probably change the lenses to improve that but i i personally would definitely say this is more of a photography camera first level a camera to play around with as a hobby or first camera but it's a really nice camera and um, you can change the features with the very nice easy to use features there let's just take it off so you can see uh, <laughs> you can see the nice little features there uh, bear with me there we go look no there, there we go look you can just about there you go you can just about see there the the buttons there and you can press play to look at the photos and you can use um, these buttons here to flick through the screen and that sort of jazz and obviously if you get more pro with this and uh, though if you are pro you would probably have a more expensive camera um, you can now at the moment it's about 580 pounds roughly so that's about 600 dollars or so um, which is you know so some of you might sound a bit but that is actually really cheap for a nice camera um and we, yeah we recommend this if you want something that's just a bit bigger to hold uh but not too big but something that just feels like a proper camera first camera and we'd highly recommend that now you can uh connect a flash to it though it does have its own um which should pop out uh, uh where is it where is it where is it uh don't matter. <laughs> it just pop out um and it's very easy to turn on easy to press the button there to take a nice photo um you can hit the flash you can play around the settings if you want to um look at what you've done um or put it into the, the settings to take a good photo you just press that button there and you go straight into the mode where you can you know see what you've taken and get ready for the shot now we highly recommend um, manual focus on the kit lens because it's just you can adjust it to exactly how you want it, get a really nice shot. Um, if you want to take a better photo, I recommend upgrading it to a different lens down the road. Uh, but this is just a really nice little camera. Um, smash like if you if you're getting value from this video. And in a second, I'm just going to show you or just give you a few tips to take a really nice photo. You want to get value from this video. So if you're getting value from this video, smash the like button and consider subscribing. 
Um, now, to take a really good photo with this camera, I would highly recommend, say if you're doing it indoors, if you can, make sure you've got lots of lighting, um, or perhaps get a ring light or floodlight. Um, that's just a really good way to get real natural light, which lenses prefer, personally. And if you want to take a really good shot, just, you know, uh, put it into manual focus, adjust it accordingly. If you want to look, it does have a viewfinder, so you can look through that, you can take a really nice shot, and that should give you a really nice... Um, really nice shot um if you're outside i highly recommend a little parrot tip for you I highly recommend what they call the the golden hour of photography uh, and i would highly recommend um the sort of hour of sunrise or sunset wherever you're going whatever lo lo location that you're using and you can get some really nice shots if not just bear in mind the sun tend to have the sun sort of behind you so the, the light is on the object or the person you're, you're taking a picture of just for better lighting if you tend to take pictures into the sun unless you're doing it on purpose you want like a black shadow or whatever um but you know it, it may look a bit dark um so we've found with this lens without playing around with the shutter speed um it's not always the best in lower light just being honest um so you might want to play around with the shutter speed and the iso and whatnot but you can adjust that or you can just get a better lens down the road um, and that's how i would recommend a good photo um so overall would i recommend this camera you know if you if you want your first camera as a as a sort of keen photographer or starting out a new hobby you want something separate from your phone i'd highly rate Highly recommend looking at the 2000D. It's just a nice little camera and something you might want to use as a hobby. And we've also got some other videos within the channel of other cameras that we recommend, especially if you're really getting into photography or getting into video as a content creator, things like the M50, the M100, the M200, stuff like that. Obviously, coming soon, yes, there is the R7, there is the R10, which could be the next camera for creators, and so much more. But if you just want something that's just separate from your phone, a bit of a hobby, something that feels nice in the hand, that's not too light, that you want something that just feels like a proper camera, I would highly recommend this as just a first camera for doing photos or photography so if you've got any questions put them in the comments below and i'll do my best to answer them um, i hope we've you've learned something today or this has helped you in your quest for your first camera or a camera that you might want to recommend looking at like i said we do have more videos about this and there will be some two end cards that will give you absolute value as long as the as well as the cards without the video so for me dave thank you so much for watching consider subscribing hit the like button and happy photography. And you know what? You guys rock. If you check out our merch, we've got t-shirts, we've got mugs, and from time to time we add to the list. So go check it out, link in the description. And also if you want to support the channel, like and subscribe this video.